Hi, this is Phil Cook at Simply Rhino, and in this short video, we're going to look at the new shell polyservice command in Rhino v5. Here you can see we have um, a model of a bottle, which uh, is a closed polysurface and has some protruding areas and some recessed detail areas. If we were to step back to version 4 of Rhino, then the way we would have to create a shell from this model um, would be reasonably complex. We'd first of all need to delete this top area here and then use the offset surface command to uh, produce the B surface. Here I want to um, offset inwards by 1.4 millimeters. And then I'll take a look at the result that I get from this. I'll just momentarily hide the outer poly surface. In version 4, as most of you know, you get a series of separate surfaces. And very often, when you try to join these surfaces, there'll be a number of naked edges. And so there's quite a lot of repair work that would need to be done to this. And then the final operation would involve manually creating the top surface here between the inner and outer shells. If we look at the same procedure in version 5, now we can use the new command called shell polysurface. I select the thickness, in this case 1.4 millimeters, and then I select the face that I want to delete, and then I let the command run. The command takes a little while, but when this is run, you'll see that, see that it creates a nice inner shell for me. And if I just check the model, you'll see that I have uh, no naked edges and I've got a completely closed manifold solid. If you just take a look inside here, you can also see that the quality of the B surface that it creates here is quite good as well. So this is going to be a big time saver for a lot of designers using Rhino V5.